Hello, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Dropbox in 30 Minutes, available from dropboxin30minutes.com. And today I'm going to be talking about a pretty common task with Dropbox, and that is sharing a link with other people. So let's say that I have a picture in my Dropbox that I want to share with somebody else. And these are my kids. Wow, what a great photo. I'm going to, I want to share it with some relatives. And uh, usually what you do in the past is you'd attach it to an email and send it that way. But Dropbox really makes it a lot easier, so you don't have to send, you don't have to attach files. And the way it works is you go to Dropbox on your hard drive, you find the file you want to share, it can be anything, then you right click on it. And you'll notice that in the contextual menu that appears, there's an item called Dropbox. And then if you go over, you'll see Browse on Dropbox website and Share Link. That's the one that we want. So I'm going to click that. And what it's going to do is it's going to open the Dropbox website exactly where the photo is located uh, in my file structure. And then it will pop up a menu where I can just email it to somebody, which is really great. It also lets you do a couple other things, which I'll show you in a minute. So um, Dropbox already has my uh, email information. So if I want to send it to a relative, uh, let's say send it to my, uh, my father, this is how I would do it. Um, the other thing you can do is you can copy the, copy the link. You can just type an email too. Uh, so if I wanted to send a copy to myself for some reason, uh, I would do this. So that's going to go to my Yahoo account. And then the other thing I can do is I can just copy a link and then I can share it any way that I want to. So copying the link to, the, to this page, when you press that button, you'll see a little green message up here. The link is copied to Clipboard. And what that means is it's available to paste into any other application. Um, to give you an example, if I wanted to, let's say, bring up a text file, uh, I'm going to create a new one, and I want to see what the link looks like, all I have to do is go to uh, Paste, and this is what the link looks like. I'll blow it up so you can see it a little bit better. So th this link goes directly to the file. People don't have to log into Dropbox or anything else to use it if you email it or put it on Facebook. So it's a pretty convenient way to share files and folders. Of course, you should be careful if you're uh, sharing things in a public place like Twitter, which you may not want to get out to the rest of the world. Uh, but if it's something that you think is important for somebody else to see and they don't have a Dropbox web account, web account, then just uh, sharing it this way is an easy way to take care of the problem. Uh, I have a lot of other videos and tips and tutorials on Dropbox and 30 minutescom and also I encourage you to download the book available from Amazon, BarnesandNoble.com, iTunes, and other fine places where you can download ebooks. My name is Ian Lamont. Thanks for listening.